Hey everyone, so I just made a video about dragon fruit in general and I realized, I said in it, that I might want to cut this one hanging piece um, and propagate it and in fact I do want to do it. So that's what I'm going to be starting today, a propagation video on dragon fruit. And I also looked at my other dragon fruit I need to that I have growing in another area and I need to make some cuttings of that too. So any ones that are growing off in a weird angle, gotta go. So, you know, gloves, sharp, clean clippers and uh, just chop it. Dragon fruit makes it kind of easy too because you'll see it grows in these sections, um, kind of gets smaller and then larger. So it makes it easier to find places to cut. You really can cut it anywhere though. So if I want it, I could cut it straight in the middle here and it will root, but it's not necessary um, because then it just has that big ugly mark where you can just, you know, cut it at a smaller point and then it looks nicer on the actual plant and it will, um, you know, root fine like this. So that's my first cutting. And then this is my smaller little bundle of uh, dragon fruit over here and what I'm having having happen is the weight of some of the limbs here is really dragging this guy down so I'm gonna cut off a couple of these I'll leave some on but again you can see it's got that smaller point here really easy to cut and likely another one will grow from that point which is pretty nice uh, same with this one this is growing actually out of all the way out of the pot so which I'm not just not want to go right now come on there we go okay so trim that should I do that one yeah why not I'll get this guy and from each of these growth points again the last time I cut I had another one grow out so I will imagine that that will happen again. So we've got four. Four nice cuttings here. And I'll try two types of propagation with these. The first type of propagation I'm going to do is sticking it in soil. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I'm just going to stick it back into the soil. Um, the soil you know, it did just rain a little bit, so it's not as dry as I would normally have it. But I just kind of want to show you how easily it does grow in soil. We're not quite in the rainy season here in Florida yet, so rain is not very typical. So even when it does rain, like the soil right now is, it's not even that wet, to be honest. So that should do fine there. So I'm keep that one in there and you know what I think I'm gonna put another one in the back I'm gonna put another one in the back one in the front and one in the back here and again we're just getting it deep enough in the soil that it'll stand up on its own and I'm just gonna leave it and then I'm gonna take the other two and I'm gonna put them in water inside and then I will update you in a couple weeks it is one month after I made the dragon fruit cuttings and we are now seeing some roots on both of the cuttings. Not too long yet and I'm not going to replant them just yet. I usually wait until the roots are a couple inches long or the roots start to expand and get like little roots of their own. But you can see that they're doing pretty well. I change the water every couple of days. Actually, I need to change the water again now, but I just wanted to show you um, what they're looking like. So that's on the one. And the other one also has some, so about the same size, maybe an inch at most. Uh, so yeah, water propagation, one month, you should start to see roots. And here we are outside again one month later, and I can tell just by pulling on each of the cuttings I put in here that they are rooted in, but for video purposes, normally you would not want to take them out because it's going to damage the roots a little bit by doing so. Um, but I just want to show you the difference. Oh, it's way longer. <laughs> um, they are way longer than just the water roots this time. So I probably mentioned in the, in the first video that they grow really well if you put them right in soil. And we've had a bit of a rainy, uh, I don't want to mess it up too much, bit of a rainy week here. 
so that definitely helped but I would probably say let's see which ones you can see easily okay you can see this roots all the way out here so that one's probably two inches long that one's similar um, and you can see some more in here so it looks like in this case in the cactus soil with a decent amount of rain um, the dragon fruit cuttings did better than the water propagation and this is likely what I will go with moving forward.